Honorable Vice President, Chairman of the Rajya Sabha, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Prime Minister, Ministers and esteemed colleagues of this distinguished house. Actually, I'm as surprised to be here as you are to see me. This is a historic day today. I am proud to be part of this historical moment when a government under the leadership of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has undertaken to repair the deep-rooted asymmetry and to give an equal share in India's future to all of us women. I am grateful for the honor. I am grateful for the honor you have given me of speaking about my years in Parliament. We are going to a new building, and hopefully this grand edifice will reflect the aspirations of a new Bharat. Today, I have been entrusted with the responsibility of addressing this esteemed assembly as the most senior member, uh, most senior parliamentarian in the Lok Sabha. I entered parliament at the age of 32, nine years after the death of my husband. My debut was as Minister for Environment. Today, 35 years later, I have spent most of my adult life in this institution, and I have seen seven prime ministers and the shaping of grand history. It, it has been an arduous, rocky road. I had several terms as an independent member and finally joined the Bharatiya Janata Party under Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayeeji's leadership in 2004. Since then, I have remained a proud member of the BJP as well of this August House. Being a member of parliament is an immense responsibility as it entails safeguarding the trust of lakhs of voters who elect us to be their voice. You are given power but this power must always be used for their good. The job demands unwavering commitment, moral rectitude, and courage. Basically, it demands great love for your country and infinite kindness towards all. Each one of us gets this opportunity to make a difference, provided we sublimate our own ambitions and see ourselves only as vessels or bridges or protectors of all the beings that need us the last person in India who believes himself forgotten. People who cannot navigate for themselves and appoint us as their helmsmen. I have tried to make the most of every minute to bring about change wherever I am, whether as environment minister, when many institutions and laws that safeguard us were passed, as social justice minister setting up Alimco, that which now looks after all the disabled in the country, Child Line, which was regarded internationally as the best institution for looking after street children, stopping child labor in the carpet industry. You can change things wherever you are. For instance, in the opposition as a BJP member, as chairperson of the often ignored assurances committee, we changed the way people were experimented on by pharmaceutical companies. They were not paid or even asked before becoming guinea pigs. This was changed by us.